Hi and welcome to a video about uh, creating a uh, Facebook uh, cover page. My name is Chris. Thank you for watching. So most of you have probably seen that uh, Facebook changed uh, their layout and uh, uh, created these new timelines. Uh, there has been a lot of debate on the uh, internet about whether this is uh, good or bad. Um, but um, uh, whether the case is one or the other, uh, we've got this possibility of uh, creating um, uh, uh, covers, cover images, and um <coughs> sorry, the cover image uh, can be placed uh, both on your uh, personal profile or your uh, company's um, uh, Facebook page or or whatever page you uh, you're creating for for Facebook. Um, and uh, the cover image is this image here, um, and it sort of uh, is uh, the background for your uh, profile image, which uh, uh, is here. And uh, often you will have your company logo here, or as uh, you can see, my um, my lovely face here as my profile uh, image. But uh, the the cover image is uh, this one uh, back here. And uh, this is what we're going to, to look at today. Take a quick look at uh, how you're going to create this uh, image and uh, what the dimensions are for this uh, image. And uh, we'll be uh, uh, doing this in uh, Photoshop. So I've opened up uh, my Photoshop uh, application and uh, opened up an image that uh, I want to use uh, uh, as my uh, cover image or as a background for my cover, cover image um, and this image I I think I, I found it on uh, on shutterstockphotos.com a, a great website for um, for stock photos for your, your website and uh, and yeah Facebook pages and um, so the first uh, the first thing we want to take a look at is the dimensions and uh, as you saw earlier um, you should keep in mind that this area down here will be covered up uh, by your uh, by your profile uh, logo so so keep that in mind when designing your uh, your page in this instance it's not a, a very particular problem uh, but I'll start uh, with uh, changing the uh, the dimensions of the image and uh, this is actually a bit too small because the dimensions of the uh, the cover image or the Facebook cover should be uh, 850 pixels in uh, width and 315 pixels in height so uh, be sure to to make your cover image these uh, these dimensions uh, 850 pixels height and 315 uh, pixels um, sorry uh, 850 pixels width and 315 pixels um, height so I'll just uh, do something that I, I normally don't recommend and that is uh, enlarging this image so it gets the width that I want and I click OK and uh, you can see I've uh, been uh, doing this before when I click on the um, on the, the marquee tool and um, it's set to a fixed size uh, up here in the properties you can set uh, a fixed size, choose fixed size and choose the size uh, over here and uh, it's set to a width of uh, 850 pixels and a height of 315 pixels uh, this is what we want to uh, to to get the right dimensions for uh, for our image. So I just uh, uh, click here, and you can see the marquee tool uh, selected the desired uh, dimensions, um, and that looks okay to me. So I uh, I'll just go to uh, image and select crop to crop the image, and you can see here the uh, I'll just hit control D to deselect uh, we have our uh, image and if I go to the size you'll see the dimensions uh, are the correct dimensi dimensi dimensions that we want sorry um, they are in fact uh, 850 by 315 um, so that's set um, next thing uh, 
I, I won't go uh, into too much details about uh, designing the, the the banner, the cover page, but um, of course you you uh, want to keep in mind uh, when you're creating a a cover page or a cover uh, image that. Uh, you probably want to design it uh, much like you would design a billboard on a website. So uh, put some text in here, uh, uh, short, um, concise text about uh, what this uh, what this website uh, or, or sorry Facebook page is about. So I'll just put in uh, some text here, and then I'll say web design internet mm, marketing and app development so this is my uh, uh, for my Facebook page so of course I want to uh, tell pe people what I do and what this uh, Facebook page, page is about and I hit the OK button um, and um, we have our text here and I'll just place it a little bit that's about right and uh, the text is white on a very light uh, background, so I'll just um, I'll just change up the the background a Sorry little. Sorry about that. I just had to reset my workspace here. Um, but uh, uh, click on the background uh, image here and uh, uh, go and select um, oops, images and adjustments and brightness. And I'll just uh, change the brightness a little so it the image uh, gets a little darker and uh, the the text pops out a little more. Um, next thing, I just want to uh, put a little uh, drop shadow on my text here. So I go to Layer and Layer Styles and select the drop shadow and you can uh, you can use a lot of time diddling around with uh, the settings here I think I used uh, three here and three here and three here click OK so um, I'll, I'll probably use uh, a lot longer time um, or a lot more time to uh, to get this um, to get this uh, image um, right and and, uh, and make it better but uh, for now this is okay uh, so I want to go and uh, save this uh, and always uh, when you're working with the uh, uh, artwork for the net uh, use save for web and devices and uh, personally I like using uh, you know JPEG or PNG um, yeah, uh, and and it's all about what you're comfortable comfortable with and uh, what you're using the image for. But in this case, I'm using JPEG image, and I set it to medium um, um, quality because uh, we don't really need the high quality, and uh, this way we uh, we lower the uh, byte size a bit. Hit save and. Uh choose somewhere to put your image and well this is this is okay um, so I saved my image and um, yeah this is it um, this is uh, the, the image is uh, now ready to uh, to upload uh, to Facebook so as you can see here on Facebook I've already uploaded this image but if you don't have a cover image uh, um, you will have a button here uh, saying saying upload a new cover image and it's pretty easy you just find the, uh, your image that you created and uh, upload it um, if you uh, want to know more about this uh, feel free to uh, suggest a another video where I can uh, uh, go a little deeper in designing uh, the, the cover image um, other than that uh, check out my Facebook page and uh, uh, like it if you want to be updated with uh, new videos uh, I do new videos uh, every week um, other than that uh, click the like button and uh, um, write any comments or questions uh, below this video and uh, follow me on uh, Twitter I'm always happy to uh, receive uh, comments or suggestions for new uh, videos um, so uh, so keep them coming uh, 
Yeah, see you later. Bye.